Hello, and uh, welcome to uh, Jamster Vlog. Something is bugging me, I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Didn't expect that. Um, so, <coughs> well, as you uh, have probably noticed, um, we had, I think, a video come out. It was the latest video in the past week. Um, I intended to release a lot more. In fact, I actually really had planned to edit and finish up a bunch of videos and publish them. Basically, like, literally, I had it all planned daily. It was all up in the works. And then you might be able to tell I, I might sound still a little bit sick. I don't know. Um, but I am a little bit sick still. But I got hit with some horrible... I don't even know what it was. I it, I think it was possibly just some sort of weird bacterial infection in my throat, and it just irritated it a lot, and it just it was causing me to like cough a lot, and it generated a lot of phlegm, I guess, or whatever it is, the stuff that sort of is designed to protect your throat, and so that was just it was horrible. <laughs> um, I don't even know what the hell it was. It was just because it's like a mix of things, and it just. <laughs> it was not fun. Uh, there was a lot of coughing. Like one night, I coughed from about like midnight to about three a.m. just nonstop, pretty much. And it, and it was really like I was on the verge of vomiting, and I kind of wish I did vomit, but I never did. And then when I finally did, it was like pathetic, and it didn't help. And it was worse than the coughing. It just. It, it's like, no matter what I did, it was just nothing could curb that, so, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it, it's just, it's what happened. Um, <coughs> it, it is <coughs> a uh, cough that sort of is brought about by talking, so hopefully it doesn't come up too much. I think I've pretty much stomped it, but I can't guarantee it, um, but hopefully this week we'll see... As the Craft Season 2 come out, more Undertale, more Leathers, possibly Command and Conquer Generals, Zero Hour stuff, um, and maybe, I don't think Renegade will be a thing for a while. It frustrated the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Command and Conquer games. They seem to piss me off. Like, I, I enjoy them, but I don't know what it is. They, they either I struggle to record them. Or they have dumb mechanics in them that I wasn't really aware of when I decided to use specific difficulty settings, and they just become a nightmare more than an, um, <laughs> something fun. So I'm not going to be playing Renegade for a bit because of that stupid infinite spawning bullshit that they had going there, um, which is a shame because <laughs> it's actually generally pretty good. Um, there's a few issues, but you know. Other than that, as a craft season two, it is really good. Um, I don't know really content-wise if it's good, but I'm enjoying it. Um, so you will notice when you start watching it that the, the uh, there's it's a bit jumpy. Um, so like s the start literally starts off si like episode one is meant is really episode two because episode one actually screwed <coughs> up, <coughs> and then things like. Um, because I want to avoid what I did last time in Out of the Craft, which was spend like 10 episodes making no content, or well, making content but no progress. I've done a lot of like background things like mining, resource gathering, but as a sort of result, because, and I as explained it in the episode 3 or whatever, the one where I do some building, that I do, I'm going to do a lot of building uh, aesthetically off camera, and the main reason is simple. We don't want another, um, what's it called, that <laughs> thing that I built, I don't want that again. Um, the thing that I built on camera isn't horrible, I don't know what I built on camera, I think I just literally, no I do remember, and uh, it's not <laughs> really that great. <coughs> it's, yeah. I mean, for me trying to build on camera is just really hard, because trying to commentate and think really hard um, about what your design choices are, it does not work. So you, I produce horrible things, um, which doesn't help. 
it just doesn't help. So I'm avoiding uh, aesthetic building as much. Not I won't avoid it entirely, but um, and I'll try to avoid doing so much that I have to give tours, which I will <laughs> have to do. But <coughs> it, um, it's just <coughs> pardon me. I've got no way of like if I could, I would time lapse it. That would that would be the goal, but I can't. So. For now, you're just gonna have to bear with like structures appearing, but I won't make mod progress in general without um, it being on camera. Like I might start a mod, and if it's a grindy one like Agricraft, then I'll just show the start of it and then do all the pretty much all of it off screen because I mean I don't think it's really interesting watching me sit there and then just mutate crops until I get perfect ones. Because I do just sit there and do it for like an hour or two and I get the perfect crops. But it, it takes time and it's not really entertaining. The only reason I can get through it is because I'm mostly building stuff, making tweaks to the buildings around the stuff, <coughs> or preparing um, farms. <coughs> so there are a couple farms at the moment which are good. But... We'll s you'll see what I mean. Like the, it, hopefully, progress-wise, we'll see that happen quite fluidly. Um, there may be a lot of background work done before the achievement towards the progress is made. You know, if it's one of those things that's just grindy to make, or it just takes hours. You know, you'll probably just see the end product and maybe the start of it as well. Um, but you won't have to see all the middle crap. So hopefully, it'll be entertaining when it comes out. Um, as f <coughs> as far as editing goes, I don't know how I'm going to edit <coughs> season two. Um, <coughs> I think putting in background music is uh, was a disaster. No matter how hard I tried, it just seemed like the background music was too loud. Um, like I, I think it started off in the first time it appeared at like minus ten decibels, and by the time the last episode came in. The background music was on like minus 40 decibels and it was still too loud. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do there. How do you make it more quiet when you've literally dropped the decibel reading by 30? And that is a lot. Like, you shouldn't even be able to hear it. But it's still loud. It's like, no matter what I do, it just, it stays there and it annoys the crap out of me. Like, I tried to make it better, and the only reason I had it was to, to avoid the dead silence of when my microphone uh, auto-cancelled um, in the other ones, because that was the best I could do to get rid of background noise. Um, <coughs> but now, the reality is I don't use that setting anymore, because apparently, if I ever try to edit my audio, it will make it a nightmare to cancel out the background noise, because apparently I can do that. Um, I might learn how to do it one day if I uh, record sort of roughly whatever the noise is I should be able to you know isolate it and then cancel it but that's sort of like praying for a miracle and I don't think it's gonna happen and to be honest this mic is not gonna be crystal clear it's gonna be as good as it gets for a while um, at least until maybe if I ever get a job <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but, you know, I'm working with what I've got, basically. As much as I would like to do much better stuff, um, it seems to do better, I need better. The software I'm using is really good. In It should, in theory, be doing good. I think I'm just not understanding stuff and not using it correctly. Uh, so if you're not aware, I use Lightworks, which is... Um, one that movies use, though they use obviously use the pro version, whereas the free version is available for literally everyone to use, which is good. Um, although it has a max output of 720p, so you'll notice that all my videos are all 720p, even if I record in a higher um, thing. So I can't do much about that, but um, realistically. I don't even know how I can record higher than 720p. I mean, this laptop, Jesus Christ. I think, honestly, 
this is probably the best laptop you could ever get if you ever wanted to record stuff because despite me believing it wouldn't do it <laughs> it just keeps recording shit there's a st <coughs> <coughs> there's stuff that definitely doesn't record I mean like it won't record overwatch unless I put it on it prob well, I mean it probably will if I drop it to the lowest settings but I don't think that would make enjoyable content maybe I don't know who knows it probably would be enjoyable. I mean, my rage and my salt would probably be enough to make a video, but the um, the actual like video quality wouldn't be that great, or the at least the game quality. The video quality would probably be decent-ish, but when I record, like there's certain games I just don't record very well. I don't understand it. Um, like Minecraft does not record very well at all in full screen, or <laughs> I can't use any of OBS's window capture settings. It turns into this weird garbage mess thing, and it just makes no sense. Like, <laughs> it's it's something to do with how OBS records. I think because it uh, uses the GPU, and Minecraft is running on the APU, which is just confusing as fuck. Just, it, it won't record it very well. I don't understand it. Um... But it, I mean, it does its job, I guess. Um, so we've obviously seen that. We've <coughs> seen all sorts of shit happen recently. Um, <coughs> <coughs> and obviously we got, like, Leathers and, and the other series coming out, which don't have much editing in them, admittedly, but it's the best I can do. Uh, the, the other thing that sucks is when I screw up recordings. Oh, Jesus Christ. This cough. Um, yeah, like, screwing up my recordings. That's the worst. Because it's like, there's nothing you can do, generally, to get that back. Like, if I'm recording as a craft, and I stuff it up, there's whatever I've recorded, I can't unrecord. I can destroy it and then fake it, but, I mean... It won't turn out as good, I don't think. I mean, I don't think I'm very enthusiastic into... Like, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just say, like, yeah, the recording fucked up, here's what happens. <laughs> because that's easier, and it even if it doesn't um, keep the story or whatever, it's sort of, like, more um, fluid. I think it's more realistic. And it at least makes me more realistic. Um, which, you know. Man, I didn't realise this thing was actually in the background. I forgot that I had it on my desk. Um, my little brother keeps breaking it. So I was fixing it l recently. It's pretty cool. I, I mean, it is mine. But it's from when I, like, I don't know how old it is. It's probably like six or seven years old now. Um... But a lot of this, like, Lego is quite cool, like, when <coughs> when you look into how realistic, like, how well they model certain things, like, this isn't 100% because it's missing pieces, but even then, it's a pretty good model of the, um, I think it's the ATST, and some of the other <coughs> Lego models are really bloody good, like, for, I, I like models in a sense, um, they're quite fun. You know, like, like even Lego, I would probably buy it if I had money. Like, <coughs> not to play with, obviously. But the the models and <coughs> the thought process, it's quite interesting. If you've ever watched um, any video on how, like, Lego engineers design stuff, it can be pretty crazy. Um, I've seen a couple of, like, mechanisms um, that are just insane. Like, there's a, a guy, I think he's called... JK Brickworks, I think I've talked about him before actually, but he designs <coughs> uh, really, really cool uh, kinetic sculptures in Lego where you turn gears or whatever and they just do amazing things and it's just made with these little Lego bricks and it's just insane like how crazy these things can look. It's kind of like Minecraft, um, you know. People look at it and it's just blocks and they don't see the <coughs> how it looks good at all. But then people create those amazing builds 
Although I, I, I at the moment have like a particular thing with those builds. I don't know if you ever. S <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> I don't know if you ever seen it, um, but with a lot of those like master builds in Minecraft, I don't know what it is, but they all do this weird thing with the roofs, where it's very uneven and it's scattered, and it's it's like this mess of. I don't know, so if, if if it was going out like block by block, they'll just randomly like change the layer heights a little bit, make one block pushed back or something, and it just looks horrible, like it's this disorderly, chaotic thing. And it seems to be a thing all these builders are doing, and it just pisses me off. It's like, why do they do that? It's like the rest of their build is this like, well thought out, well placed thing, and then these roofs are just these horrible... I don't even know what to call them, they're just, it's like, it's like someone just sort of spazzed out and random parts of it, they just placed a block or two out of place, and it just, it doesn't look good, and like, <coughs> the overall builds are generally really good, and I don't get why they do it, it confuses me, because it's not like in real life, you see master art, like, those amazingly designed buildings and architects going, you know it will make this building really look good if we just add a random one meter tall piece of metal right here in the middle of our roof for no reason. Just There's no beneficial reason, there's no reason for it to look better, we'll just add a meter high extra piece of metal for no fucking reason. That's the equivalent of what these builders do. And I don't get it. It doesn't happen in real life, and most people wouldn't do it in Minecraft, and yet these people do it. And it just doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know who in their right mind does it. Like, and I can understand if they're building uh, or modeling an older structure where there's uh, aging and damage to the structure, so there would be things like that, but it wouldn't be so extreme like they do it. Like, it's ca very chaotic in some of them. <coughs> like even a building that's 30, 40 years old, it'll have, especially um, the ones with the the tiled roofs or whatever those um, those little things are called. I think they the the roof tiles. I don't know what they're actually if there's a technical name for them, but like sure some of them can get damaged and they'll break off and stuff like that. But that's not the architectural choice. When someone when you see those builds and they're building like a fancy castle and they just they put in this stupid shit but then the rest of the castle is like really well maintained or some bullshit it's like you're you, they're not making a consistent build and it's just I think it's that like that's the difference between what really is a master minecraft builder and these people <laughs> they're like they're really good but because they can't make a fucking roof the way it should be they aren't there, like, when I see it, I don't, I think it honestly, when I see them build them, like, in those time lapses, it detracts so much from their build, like, I see it, and if I was rating their build, like, 10 out of 10, I immediately drop probably to, like, 5 out of 10, it just, it's like having a, a perfect sphere, and then cutting out a little triangle, but then it's no longer a perfect sphere, there's no point in calling it a perfect sphere, it's just not it anymore, and it's just, that, but that's what these people <laughs> fucking do, and I don't get it, they just <laughs> do it constantly, and, <coughs> and they just seem to think it looks good, and it doesn't, like, um, there's a couple of YouTube channels where I see them do it consistently, their roofs are just this disorderly, chaotic thing, I don't know why they do it, like, they'll build these really good looking structures, and I can understand that, like, even in a good structure, like, sometimes you have to have some random shit going through it to make it look a little bit better. That adds to the chaos, but it's not horribly chaotic. It's not like, you know, if you were going to build a structure and then have a slightly damaged wall, you don't fucking just rip down the wall. <coughs> <coughs> you, s you remove a block or two and probably replace it with stairs to sort of make those holes. But these people, they don't do that. They don't give a fuck. They just... I don't even know what they do. I don't know why they choose to do it this way. They just do. And it's honestly, like, the worst. <coughs> 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 I 
Like, I just don't like it. I've never seen, like, such stupid... <coughs> stupid builds. Um, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I think I'm gonna end it there before I cough myself to <coughs> So I will say goodbye. Um I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.